Good morning and God bless everyone and welcome to Talk Straight Bible. Many blessings to all the mothers that are listening to this message today. I hope and pray that this message blesses you and gives you that encouragement as a Christian mother in this walk of Christ. I would like to read to you from 2 Timothy 1, verse 5, and then 2 Timothy 3, verse 14 through 17. And the word of God says, When I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, which dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded is in you also. But you must continue in the things which you have learned and been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that from childhood you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. As I was preparing this message and reading these scriptures, I thought about my mother. I am here today serving the Lord because of a praying and faithful woman in my life. The word of God gives us great examples of faithful praying mothers, but there is something about Lois and Eunice that stood out to me. The word of God does not say much about these two women, but we know that scripture tells us here that Timothy was raised in holy scriptures and in faith by these two women who interestingly were not married to a Jewish man. Timothy's father was a Greek and studies say he was not a believer. I said, wow. And yet Timothy displayed a Christian young man because he had his mother and grandmother uh, teach him the truth of scripture. His mother, Eunice, and, and grandmother, Lois, played such an important role in his spiritual development by leading an example of a Christian mother with faith in the Lord. Paul told this young man, a believer in Christ, to continue in the things that he has learned and that of your childhood you have known. And Eunice, Timothy's mother and his grandmother, Lois, had imparted faithful teaching, a prayer life, and the word of God, the truth. They were able to raise this child to become a faithful servant of the Lord, led by example of his mother and grandmother. What a beautiful example. Even with little bit of text can speak a whole lot about a person. These women who were mothers were able to train up a child the way they should go. And when he gets old, he shall never depart from it. I want to encourage the mothers that you have a weapon which is fierce and unstoppable. There is power in prayer. Prayer increases your faith as a Christian. You have the simplest tools in your hand that Lois and Eunice had, which is faith, the Holy Scriptures, and prayer. God gave you a new life of salvation. Share the news with your children. Let them see that God is great and faithful. We serve a mighty, powerful, living God. Raise your children in prayer and faith. When I look at the life of my children and I, prayer and faith is what kept my family together. Prayer and faith kept me together to raise my family alone. Prayer and faith kept my direction and God gave me strategies to continue this good fight of faith. As a mother who knows she serves a mighty God, she stands firm on the promises that God gave her for her children. Her sons and daughters will serve the living God. They will also learn the importance of a relationship with the Lord and will grow in their own faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The battles and strongholds that overcome their strength and bondages that kept them from seeking God. As a mother, we will not sit back and see the enemy destroy their souls. That's when we rise up and we stand in the gap as godly prayer warriors in a spiritual war cry and start to declare life over our children, declare scriptures, those promises in his word that our children will be transformed and renewed through the Holy Spirit of God. 
understanding that as we have a purpose for our Lord, they also have God's plan over them. As mothers who get on their knees and fight the battles in prayer, invite your children as well. Pray the Holy Scriptures with them for them to receive God's truth, a balance, a hope and transformation in their lives. So as they grow in the word, their faith shall increase as well and testify to them of how God is faithful and helped you in times of testing. Give testimony of our Lord and Savior. As I pray for, for in my home, I sometimes pray that my children hear me. So then when those prayers get answered, their faith also increases, not only my own. Lead by example in prayer together. Declare Jeremiah 29, 11 over you and your family, over your house, that the Lord knows the plans that he has for you, plans to prosper you, not to bring you no evil, but a hope and a future. Isaiah 32, 18, my people will dwell in a peaceful habitation, in secure dwellings, and in a quiet resting places. Declare that peace in your home. Declare 1 Samuel 2.35 that the Lord will rise up for himself a faithful priest who shall do according to what is in God's own heart and mind. Declare Joshua 1.9 that you and your children will be of good courage and have strength and know that the God you all serve go with you wherever you go. Romans 10.17 says, Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Timothy grew in faith because in his home, he heard the truth. He heard the Holy scriptures that his mother and grandmother taught him so that he can have a relationship with our Lord. These women displayed a reverence for God, his word. They knew the importance of Timothy understanding to be submitted to God and be able to stand strong in truth, walk with confidence of righteousness in the Lord and to live a faithful life. Jesus said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Timothy understood this for God had chosen him to be his servant as a youth. Amen. Glory to God. We as mothers guide our children with the word. We use the word to instruct them and teach them who God is and what Jesus did for us to have eternal life and be saved from the destruction of this world. We know there's so much things going on in this world and we want to be those vessels, those instruments that God uses in our hearts homes to help not only that God did it to us and mold us in that with that clay that we are considered that clay but also that our children also be molded and we be used as that that instrument to teach them to guide them into the righteous path of God so I say to all the mothers grandmothers great grandmothers, and to those who God blessed and called to be foster mothers, don't stop praying. That word that come out of your mouth will have an effect to their minds and their hearts. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter your situation, whether your children live with you or have moved out, whether your children are young or old, whether your children are obedient or rebellious, whether you talk or see each other or you don't, don't stop praying for your children. Pray without season. Continue to have faith in the promises God has over you and your family. Mothers, you are faithful. You are protectors of your children. You are seekers for the good for them, planters of good seeds in their minds and their hearts, overcomers of the battles that you might be experiencing with them or with yourself. Noble, you are a worshiper of heart. You know to come to the throne of God and with boldness and confidence believing and trusting with what you ask for for you and your children will come to pass. You are lovely. You are compassionate. You are a peacemaker, instructor of your household, understanding and a prayer warrior.
glory or hallelujah, glory to God that he has given us those tools, those instruments. He has placed those things in our hearts, in our souls. Hallelujah. I found a quote from Catherine Booth, who was a co-founder of the Salvation Army, and she had a Christian faith, a very strong Christian faith. She told the Lord in a prayer, Oh God, I will not stand before you without my children. When I read this, oh my goodness, I felt that in my bones. I said, Lord, wow, this woman was, was did this pleading to you. And she asked you that she did not want to go before you without her children, that she was also declaring the salvation of her children. And that's what we mothers do. We intercede. We get on our knees morning and nighttime declaring that promise, that word that God has given us, that provision for our children and for our lives, that we are that example to our children of faith, just as Lois and Enos, um, they both showed and displayed that faithfulness in the Holy Scriptures that we read each and every day. So I leave you with these questions. What are you going, what are you doing to be that example in your home? Is the word of God being taught in your home? What would you want the word to do within you and your children? You might have your own questions before the Lord. And I pray that as you continue to grow in the word and in prayer, that the spirit of God empowers you and brings understanding so that you and your family seek the truth and those planted seeds grow with knowledge. So as iron sharpens iron, may you and your children's faith and speak and teach the truth of our Lord Jesus Christ be fulfilled in your life. I pray that you guys are blessed, that you guys continue to pray and intercede, that you continue to grow in the word so that you be that vessel and instrument in your household, that you are able to declare with your children those words and build up an army in prayer, an army to go out and preach the word, an army to go out and help and seek the, the living God of the one who, who restores us, renews our minds, the ones who takes control of our lives, that God, the living God that we will proclaim, not only you, but your children will proclaim it as well. With Lord, we thank you. We just thank the, the God that we serve because he is just faithful to us in our home. He is just faithful to the promises that he has given us in our children. He has given us also those weapons to stand firm and strong and not have no fear to to. Go before um, the, the throne and also to go into battle for our family as we get on our knees and pray. So I leave you with this and I pray that you all are blessed, are blessed and that you mothers continue to rise up and to be those mothers, those grandmothers, those aunts, those foster mothers and the mothers to be that you continue to grow in the Lord and be highly blessed and favored. One, you are wonderfully and fearfully made by the living God. God bless you and have a beautiful and wonderful day in the Lord. Amen.